Hi there, and welcome to another Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church, and we will be continuing our study of the book of Matthew. In the short Bible study, we'll cover chapter 8 of Matthew, verses 1 through 4. It begins, When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. See, Jesus was very popular at this time, and... Uh, he was the greatest teacher that ever walked the earth. And lots of people followed him. I'd like to think I would be one of them. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him. Um, you know, in those, ti in those times, uh, in Jewish culture and uh, in the Jewish law, you know, in Mosaic law, if you're a leper, what you do is you walk around saying, I'm clean, I'm clean. Don't go anywhere near anybody. But this guy did something different. He came up and worshipped him. Saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. This guy had faith. He did something that was out of the norm because of his faith in Jesus. And so what did Jesus do? Did he reject him? Did he say, get away from me, you're trying to get me sick? No. Verse 3, then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. You know, imagine. Imagine people seeing that, you know, there was evidence of that disease on your skin and people could see that it gone and Jesus said to him see that you tell no one but go your way show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them so he says to uh, just do what the law had said you know it was a priest who would decide if the person really was clean of the leprosy under the Mosaic law so just follow those and do it. So the crowd saw that Jesus had miracle power, miracle working power. He still has it today. Might not be as common as we'd like it to be. And I believe if anyone just had a handle on it, they knew exactly how to get a miracle. They go to the children's ward of a hospital and just start, and the children's hospital just start healing and healing and healing. But some t that doesn't mean that God doesn't sometimes do miracles. And an interesting thing he said is not to tell anyone. And I suppose the reason was that he knew the more popular he got, the more, uh, the closer it would be to the cross. He had less time to perform these miracles. But uh, that's not what he tells us to do. He doesn't tell us to be quiet about what the Lord's done for us. He says to go and make disciples of all nations. We're supposed to spread the word of what Jesus has done for us and for others. That Jesus still is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I hope this uh, has been of help, and I'll see you next time. God bless. <clears throat>